free your mind. Okay, so I'm just using some resin up here. Just scrape this out. These silicone cups are really handy because they do clean up very easily. All you need to do literally is just wait for it to dry out and just pull it out actually wash it with soap and water just got some gold glitter here which sticks to everything not gold glitter it's gold leaf sorry and it literally sticks to everything as you can see it's just don't want to go anywhere. Don't want to get out. There must be an easier way to do this gold glitter, this gold leaf. If you know, leave a comment below. Because I'm always open to suggestions. See if this will work. Right. I'm just looking for a little silver now. Just thought uh, a bit of gold and a bit of silver together would look nice. Let's try plan B again. Just trying to avoid all the bigger pieces. Uh, that'll be enough. Should be more than enough. I'm just going to cover that up a bit. That one. Got to get some new gloves on as well. So right now I've got some um, like quartz crystal chips. I've had these quite a long while. I've never used them. I'm gonna say quite a while. Ooh, it must be eight years or something. So I moved from my previous house, well, just over five years ago now. I 
I don't think these chips will show up. I think they should do. Just scatter some in various places as well. You can't go wrong with crystals. Just mix up some shimmer powder. Just want to put this frosting around the sides a little. So there's just enough there. I'll fill that bit up there. Just kind of coming with the gold over the top. Put a bit in the very centre. Here comes the purple. I say purple, this is purple rain from Lorez. I absolutely love this colour. This is one of my favourites, if not the favourite. I always like purple. Um, just make a little more of the gold up. Uh, I've just picked up another white. This is a pearl one as well. Survey not talking as much. My throat, I don't know about you, but my throat gets very, very dry when I'm sort of recording. It's weird. Because I used to I'm used to being like in front of a, a class of like adults. But well I was. At my local college. But I've since finished.
more useless information for you there. I might just put some white around here to break up the um, the gold white. There's not going to be enough. Oop. There we go. That's a very thin line, is that one? You wouldn't believe the amount of space what I've got to use. It's virtually non-existent. Very, very small table. Because we're in the process of moving stuff about, so. I just have a look at these crystals. I think some of them will be alright. They should sink. Plus, I'm going to fill this up anyway. So, seeing I've got the purple left, I may just do a thin line. Now go to uh, make some more up and fill it to the top. Then I've left um, filing down or sanding down to do. So I'm back again with more resin. I just want to flood this so it's so it's reaching a dome. I really need to measure out how much um, resin these moulds take. That was my plan originally. Let's work out how much to take by using water. Obviously not before I pour. Obviously let the water dry. And if I know how much resin it takes, I know exactly how much resin to make. Not rocky sands. <laughs> I'll just tidy this up a bit. Oops, and I've got some blue on it. Have I got blue on there? Right, it's contaminated with a stick. Not to worry. Because the purple will do that. I'll just cover it. The thing is, if you make mistakes, don't worry too much about them. You're not the only one who makes mistakes. I think we all do it at one time or another. So don't worry. Yeah. 
You can always do something with it. Looks like it's starting to dome. I'm going to put a bit more in just in case to make sure. I'm going to put the heat gun to pop the bubbles. Excuse the sound. I think I'll call it done. Yeah, going to call it done because if I start messing about with it now, I could uh, mess it up. Nope, walk away. Stop fiddling with it. <laughs> All right, it'll be like this. I'll uh, see what it's like in 24 hours. 24 hours later. Okay, so this is 24 hours later, and that's the one I did, um, where I filled it right up to the top. I don't think I've quite filled it right up to the top to dome it. Um, so I was uh, bothered about sort of overflowing it, and then I had to do a big clean up after. So. As you can see, I'm just done moulding it. I think that has turned out pretty nice. I do like that. Lovely glassy finish as well. So what they like on the other side. Ooh. Turned out really nice, I think. So smooth though, the, the glassiness of it. Just try and move my camera a little bit. Right, the light's a bit too bright to show individually. And just uh, like a LED lights. Uh, yeah, I do like that. Like the finish on it. That's what the pieces are like on both sides. So you could actually use this on both sides anyway. Yeah, you know, it don't matter. Don't need to choose just one side. Could swap them around, I suppose. Try these two as well now. Cool. As I said, you could use these uh, 
was just like together like that and put a teapot on it or a coffee pot or just use it as a serving dish and then you could also use these as individual coasters so I think we're all done I'm gonna just finish it off I'll come back and let you see them this is the final result of the uh, coaster or coaster set using uh, the Lorez Purple Rain I love the Purple Rain it really turns out well you can see where I put the uh, stones in there the um, quartz crystal chips as I said it's like glass and it's really good I really like it I might sound as though I'm going a bit overboard but I really do like this resin um, might as well do this for you I highly recommend this resin um, if you want to get some yourself which I suggest you do it's craft-resin.co.uk or craft-resin.co.uk depends what you want to use it's the same thing uh, and it's really good stuff and as I said there's a 10% code at the moment it should be at the bottom of this video so I really recommend it get in touch with me somehow I'm always on Facebook you can always message me but this is the result I really love it uh, the edging I've just done really quickly for this video uh, using the, the Posca pens this is the gold pen um, and the one I've used is the the one with a really wide tip so that's my thumb there it's the one with a really wide tip and it's in hindsight I maybe should have got a, a smaller pen as well so I could go over these parts but I'm just wondering if there's anything else where I could use instead maybe just paint them or something but yeah that's what they look like alright so get in touch with me if you want anything uh, and let me know below what you think okay tatty bye